I asked my guardian angel to overlook and help guide communication with the spirit I felt was around me. The anticipation of a response frightened me and I closed the communication. What can I do to get over my fear? First of all, I would recommend that we do no divination technique or spirit communication technique if we know that we have fear because that is a signal just like anything else. Fear is an energy and it is a replicative energy, meaning it's magnetic. It's going to draw back to us evidences or conditions that match its quality of signal. And so that means if we're trying to communicate with spirits and we're also afraid we're going to draw back spirits that match the signal of fear or will make us afraid so we don't want to do it we always want to make sure that we are in a fearless state to the best of our ability please know though and i want everybody to hear this fear is a natural condition of being human we have this thing called the reptilian brain and it is deep within us as an instinct to be fearful and that's actually a good thing I heard somebody say recently that as an animal you want to have dinner but you don't want to be dinner and that's about as basic as it gets for the entire existence of an animal we want to eat we want our needs met we don't want to be the meal though and so there's this basic instinct within us all for fear and it's okay some of us feel like we're failing if we have fear well I'll tell you right now I find myself in a reaction of fear well, not often, but I have before. I found myself in a reaction of fear. I call this the startle. I've walked into spaces or I've woken up into spaces where I have then been attacked and it was afraid, mostly because I didn't have my bearings and I didn't really know what was going on and it was a surprise to me. And so, yeah, I was like freaked out, but it didn't take me long to very, very, very effectively self-correct and stand in the energy of dominion. Now I know many of you have heard this and please bear with us but Andrew may not have so let me talk to you a little bit about dominion. Dominion is our birthright. When we came into this life we came with something called dominion. This is in sacred texts. It's in specifically the Bible in the Old Testament in the Torah where the Talmud, Torah, Talmud, first five books written by the Pentateuch, whatever, <laughs> where God is talking about giving man dominion over the planet, over everything that moves, over all of creation. And it's not just creation, the physical. God has actually given us dominion over our dimension. Now, this dimension is teeming with life, not just human life, not just earthly life, but life, all kinds of dimensional life. We only see approximately 1% on the electromagnetic spectrum, hardly anything at all. If we had eyes to see as it really were, we would freak the F out. And so that's the reality of it. That's where we're living. In. And as we are changing our frequency by doing things to raise our vibration, we're actually modifying the dial, we're turning the dial on the radio and we're picking up other stations. We're picking up other frequencies and now we're seeing new things. We're starting to have new evidences. And as these beings move around in our location and they manipulate their frequency or their their dial on the radio, they can make themselves known to us or we can perceive them as well. So there's a lot going on, but this is ours. We have dominion over all of it. If you are experiencing it, and you are, Andrew, just as I am, you are sovereign in it, and nobody can take that away from you. I love to talk about Jesus Christ because that was one guy who walked around the planet, knew, he knew he had dominion. What does that mean? He knew that he had God energy within him, creator energy within him. He knew that he could do whatever he want, and if he said it, it would happen, and verily I say unto you, it does appear. If Christ said it, it did happen. He said to Lazarus, rise, and Lazarus rises and comes back to the earth reality. Jesus knew he had dominion, and Jesus said, if you only had faith of a mustard seed, you'd be able to say to that mountain, jump into the sea, and no problem, that's exactly what would happen. That's what Jesus occupied 24-7. That's why he was a man of miracles. And what did Christ say? Anything that I can do, you can do, and more of it. We're just as powerful. We have the same God within us. You have this dominion. Now you need to know that you have this dominion. You need to walk around the planet a lot like Christ did. You need to be running the energy of being sovereign in this space. When you do that, you don't get harassed. That signal is far stronger and far higher than anything fear 
might attract or anything that any other lower vibration might attract. There is nothing higher than God energy and that's what dominion is. It's the God in you. That is who you are. Every other being in all dimensions, but particularly this 3D reality, they know that we have dominion. They know that if we know it, like we know we have dominion, there's nothing that they can do. Likewise, they also know when we don't know that we have dominion. If they know that we're afraid, if they know that we are in reaction or we are afraid of the unknown or we're in a state of fear or fright, well, they, if they are of a lower signature, they will use that to their advantage and, and they will try to do all kinds of things. We don't even just talk about it. But if they know you know you have dominion, if they, if they know you are in your dominion, it is not even a question. It is not even a question. They don't even bother you. So first and foremost, Andrew, know that that is who you are. It is 100% who it is that you are. And the next time you find yourself in a situation where you're getting afraid, first of all, have some grace for yourself because you're human, okay, and that's all right. Second, get into your dominion as fast as you can and run it occupy it. When I say run it, occupy it, I mean feel it. Feeling is the secret. Feel your power and they will not bother you. And you can't, that's a guarantee. They will not bother you. And it may take a while. And I say, sometimes we practice for weeks or months and sometimes years to diminish our startle, to like, to change from being f afraid for an entire night Maybe next time we're afraid for an hour after something. Maybe next time it's a half an hour and pretty soon we don't even care. I don't care. I don't care. I was, I was a little annoyed at myself that it took me 30 seconds to like realize what was happening when I got attacked. Oh, it was 2016 by a shadow person. I was, it just bothered me that it took me that long. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, uh, because that was all the time they needed for them to do something, but I very quickly, it doesn't take me long at all. And in fact, I hardly have, like sometimes I'm like, come on, somebody try something. It's getting boring in here. Can somebody knock on a wall? Can somebody just walk in? Let's do something up in here. Um, because I have so many evidences and miracles in my life, but none like that because people, they don't try it. And that's the power of dominion. It takes practice, but the more you run it, the more you own it, and the more it easy, the more easy it is to occupy it. Did that help you? I hope that helped you. That is who you are. They know it. It's time for you to know it. Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go to crystallinecompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.